Yo, what's cracking, peeps? Your boy Team Money up in the heezy. Happy Monday, early evening. Um, so yeah, it's been a minute. I haven't had really much going on as far as new shit uh, and whatnot. So um, haven't done a video. But um, uh, yeah, I went and saw a Pet Cemetery the other night. That was pretty good. I actually pretty pretty liked that. I thought it was a very enjoyable remake. Um, no, I don't know. I did enjoy it quite a bit though. Um, and I watched Clove Hitch Killer, uh, last night. I thought that was pretty good as well. Unique role for Dylan McDermott, um, I would say. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. I really haven't been ordering. Well, that's not really true. I just haven't gotten that much in, so. I stepped on a piece of glass last night over by the fireplace, and it was literally, like, probably the width of my um, fingernail or my index finger and it's right on like the palm of my foot which really doesn't feel too good right now so I'm in pain but um, yeah so let's get into the update I just got a few things in the mail um, I actually got four different packages in the mail today uh, cavity colors eBay uh, SRS, uh, Sabrosa Studios, and then, um, I also grabbed a few things from Dr. Butcher again. Um, he's been selling a lot of really, really good stuff, so, um, I have a few movies that are for sale still. This is everything that I have still that I have not sold. So, if anybody's interested in any of this stuff, um, let me know. I have the Bloodthirsty Butchers, uh, your... Um, shit, I was supposed to put this aside for Derek, so Derek, I'll get at you, see if you want that on Friday, if not, that's for sale, uh, Bong of the Living Dead, Lisa, The Comeback, Torture Dungeon, these are some cool Code Red releases, The Man with Two Heads, Weekend Murders, the Eerie Midnight Horror Show. And Offerings. So, if any of you guys want any of these titles, holler at your boy. And, um, we'll make a deal. Um, I forget what I was going to say. Um, I completely forget. Um, fuck. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, yeah, so hit me up if you guys, if anybody wants any of those things. Okay, so, um, before I show you what I grabbed from Dr. Butcher for me today, um, I just wanted to show you guys a couple DVDs that I got in. And I know that I'm missing something here, and I'll probably think of it right when the video's done. But there is one other title that I just know I received. And for the life of me, I don't know what it is, but I grabbed Outpost Earth. I attempted to watch this the other night. Um, this is a retro media release. I, I watched Terror for Tom's video and he said he liked it quite a bit. Um, some of the stop motion was cool, but I just wasn't really feeling this to be perfectly honest. Brett Piper. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But then I also grabbed... Uh, Miner's Massacre. Uh, shout out to... Um, who told me about this? Was it Amy? I think it was Amy. Um, somebody... Yeah, it was Amy. She posted something on her Instagram. And um, just a picture of this movie or whatever. And I was like, damn. Because kind of like, uh, I think, in lieu of... Um, or is that the right word? Uh, <laughs> not in lieu, but... For John Carl B... Buechler, Buechler's passing, um, she had posted this, or whatever, she had posted it, for whatever reason, it caught my attention, actually, the movie's in my player right now, but I watched it last night, and uh, I thought it was fun, yeah, it's cheesy, but the acting, the one dude, the main actor in this movie, he fucking reminds me of Chop Top so much, um, he's just goofy looking, um, but yeah, I mean, it's fun, a lot of, like, 90s, familiar like horrible soap opera horror actors and actresses. Um, but 
you know, for what it was, it's a fun slasher movie. Um, so, about the legend of... I forget his name now. Karen Black's in this as well. She has a little role. Richard Lynch plays like the old um, store mill owner or whatever. It's good. I liked it. So, Miner's Massacre and Outpost Earth. And then I grabbed today, um, I grabbed two titles from Dr. Butcher. I got uh, Hanging for Django, Sergio Garoni film. Um, don't know much about it, but it's a Raro video release. So that's awesome with a slip. So yeah, some sort of spaghetti western, I'm sure. Um, looking for a year. All I see is when this was out, put out though, 2013. So new transfer from 35 millimeter. And I grabbed this beauty as well from Dr. Butcher. Beautiful. So, stoked for this. I love this movie. Um, and I think it's out of print for sure, so uh, I ended up grabbing it from him. And it's a two-disc set. Probably the, the best edition of this movie um, out there. So, Class of Nukem High, Nukem High, Arrow Video, original release. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's get into the... Um, stuff that I got in the mail. So we got two things from Cavity Colors. Jeez, um, somebody stepped on this. <laughs> but, uh, oh, what I wanted to mention is anybody who bought anything from me, your packages have been shipped as of last week, so not to worry. I know I didn't send tracking numbers for a few of them because I had my dad send it, and uh, it just got lost in the shuffle. But I assure you that everything is out there, and you should be getting your stuff soon-ish. Um, all right, and... So I ordered uh, this pin from um, oh, this is Motel Hell. I thought I had ordered for some reason I thought that so I ordered the pig pin from uh, Motel Hell and then for some reason I thought this was um A different movie what the hell is that movie that Scream Factory just put out and it's got the cover that looks strikingly similar to this I'm trying to open this anyways I, I got it mixed up but I'm a fan of both movies so it doesn't really matter um, but yeah this one's not nearly as cool I'm not gonna lie as the pig pin because it's just like got a glossy it's got more of a traditional cheap pin look to it rather than the other one that's like kind of I don't know, but it's cool. It's glossy, but cool. So yeah. Um, God damn it. I can't remember the name of that movie now, but um, American something. But. All right. So that's the pin. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. So uh, t-shirt, cavity colors. I'm psyched for what's in here. Definitely been on a cavity colors kick lately. So this is a Evil Dead key. It's super rad. Some swag in here as well. More Candyman. God, I have a ton of these. Oh, nice. You gave me a Twizzlers. That's cool. That's different. Um, but I have so many of these Candyman bookmarks. All right. So this is rad. Check it. Evil Dead 2, some sweet um, Devin Whitehead color art, cover artwork, I would imagine. Devin draws, I like it a lot. I think it's really cool, colorful, and fun. So, yeah, gotta love the Deadite in my cellar. That's awesome, I love it. So, sweet, cool beans. Love cavity colors. All right, guys, let's get into the little media portion of this update, shall we? Oh, come on. There we go. 
Uh, we're gonna go with the uh, Ron Bonk Sabrosa Studio stuff first. So we have two films, a bunch of swag as always. Some posters, but um, all right. Some cheaply packaged shrink wrap. <laughs> That's all right. We've got Meat Market and Meat Market 2. I don't know, I'm feeling the uh, drop in quality. Not, maybe not. It's the same. Um, so, Meat Market and Meat Market 2. I'm not familiar with these movies, but every once in a while, I will purchase from Sabrosa if something somewhat interests me. Um, so... So, let's see. From the depths of hell, they have returned to walk the earth. Two ex-security agents discover what may be the real cause of what TV news reports are calling animal attacks. Argenta and Shiroko, Shiroko are former employees of a company they know to be conducting bizarre medical experiments. What has resulted are not animal attacks, but attacks on humans, by humans, turned into vicious, decomposing, cannibalistic zombies. Their efforts to stem the violence in vain, hunted by authorities, Chakro and Agenta, or whatever, however you pronounce the names, escape the city just as it's engulfed by chaos. Their only hope lies in finding and organizing the few remaining survivors. What they find, three vampire women armed with high-tech weaponry, a deranged and washed-up Mexican wrestler, a wounded soldier, and a scientist who may know, more, a lot more, who may know a lot more than he lets on. They must band together to defeat the hordes of the undead before they are themselves consumed by the new order, the meat market. <laughs> wow. For some reason, that name just kind of ruins like all seriousness to me. But anyways, cool. Meat Market 2, the sequel to Meat Market 1. Well, no shit. More than a year after the events of Meat Market, the few survivors and others struggle for survival against the undead in the ruins of what was once society. In their search for a safe haven, they come across what appears to be the last refuge of humanity, a fortified compound run by former motivational speaker Bill Wilhelm and his cult of heavily armed fanatics. Cool. So, yeah, awesome. Stoked. Check these guys out. I'm sure these are super indie, as always. Um, and I'm not sure who directs these, either. But you do get some bonus features as well. When are these movies from? Doesn't even say. I wish it said, but it doesn't. So maybe on the disc. Just 2019, the copyright. So if you guys have seen Meat Market One and Two, let me know your thoughts. Happy to have these though. Um, all right, and last but not least, we have a package from eBay. So I opted to grab this um, Salem's Lot steelbook just because I'm a huge fan of this movie and I believe that this is out of print. So I got a pretty good deal on this one. Um, looks to be a UK release from 1979. Um, there were two different kinds of this uh, or of, of the Salem's Lot. There's an American Steelbook and then I think the UK exclusive, uh, which is this. So I'm going to leave this one sealed. But uh, yeah, who doesn't love this movie? I mean, it's a classic. So 
Um, yeah, I had to add that to the collection. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Um, sorry it wasn't that exciting, but I do what I can do. Um, so anyways, talk to you soon. Uh, have a great night. All right, later, guys. Peace.